Hello, my dear audience. Today we're gonna visit the house with the strangest exterior of all John Lautner's designs. This house was nicknamed the Jaws House because of its unusual facade that looks like a shark with its mouth opened towards the ocean. Its half circular copper roof gives the house a strong futuristic appearance. From the outside, it might not be John Lautner's most beautiful design, but from the inside, it has a wonderful interior. The design of the house contains many special details, so let's take a look inside. The Rawlins house is located on Balboa Island, a small artificial island that belongs to the city of Newport Beach, not far from Los Angeles. Most houses on this extremely tense populated island are vacation homes and the island is known for its water sport tourism. The house is built next to the ocean on a small piece of sand that measures only 30 by 85 feet. From the backside, a one-way street makes the house accessible by car. A boardwalk, only for pedestrians, separates the house from the beach. The Rollins house has a few similarities with another John Lauder design, the Stevens house. Both houses are built next to the ocean and are made mainly out of concrete with a wooden interior. On this picture you can see how strong the contrast is with the other architecture on the island. During high tides the water almost reached the edge of the boardwalk. This makes it possible to step right from the house onto your sailing boat. They chose copper as the material for the roof, because copper is very durable in the wet, salty and windy conditions of the ocean side. A wooden roof needs to be painted and can rot very easily in the salty atmosphere. The unusual shape of the house is mainly caused by the window mechanics. Underneath the half-circular balcony is a large window that consists of multiple glass panels. Because these panels are placed in grooves at the ceiling and at the floor, it is possible to mechanically slide the entire window to the left side of the house. This means that the entire front side of the living room can be opened towards the ocean with just one press of a button. From the living room you have the feeling of sitting at the beach while the half circular ceiling still gives you the feeling of shelter and comfort. The two concrete walls on both sides give the living room the feeling of a tunnel and they lead the perspective outside towards the ocean. During the evening the curtains can be closed with remote control. On this drawing you have a clear overview of the house. Its floor plan is strict rectangular. A large part of the house belongs to the garage. With the furniture drawn into the floor plan, the house is revealed to be much smaller than it looks. The house was created by placing a concrete base plate on the sand of the beach. On this base plate, Two walls were erected. These walls are made of cast concrete. The pieces of timber of the wooden form work are printed in the concrete. John Lawner decided not to eagleize the concrete, so the prints of the form work become a decorative pattern. On the right side, the wood boards were placed vertically, while on the left side, the lines of the form work are horizontal. Multiple iron beams were placed from the left wall to the right wall. On this iron beams a second floor level with wooden walls and wooden floors was created. Curving beams made of laminated wood were used to support the roof. Because of its enclosement by houses on both sides, the Rollins house can't have no windows on the left or at the right side. Therefore, John Lauder decided to create large sky windows in the roof. By making the second floor level narrower than the first level, 
the sunlight falls down on both sides of the floor level and this brings the sunlight deep into the living room. On this picture you can see the beams of the second floor level and you can see the light shaft that goes all the way up to the roof. The fireplace is also made of cast concrete. I personally like this couch. It matches very well with the interior. In the wall next to the sitting area are a few small holes drilled in concrete. These holes are used for ventilation. They can be opened by screwing a wooden pin out. During hot days a cool sea breeze can blow through the holes, providing some fresh air for the people sitting on a couch. Next to the open kitchen is a stair with a window with frosted glass underneath. Behind this stair is a bathroom with a toilet and a shower. The bathroom has a door on the left side of the house. This door is accessible through a narrow alley on the outside. After you have swimmed in the ocean, it is possible to walk through this alley straight into the bathroom. The washing table in the bathroom is made of lacquered wood and it's truly a masterpiece of craftsmanship. There's also a second front door that is accessible through the alley on the right side. This door goes straight into the garage and gives access to the storage, utility and laundry rooms. The garage has a large wooden door which makes it possible to park two cars at the same time. The spectacular design stair is floating and is made of concrete steps that are slightly triangular. The stair is placed in a light shaft next to the second floor level. The guest bedroom and the study room are sunlit by the same sky window that was used for the light shaft. A small balcony is accessible from both of these rooms. The bathroom has a skylight in the ceiling. The interior of the master bedroom is completely made of timber. This, combined with the ocean view, gives the feeling of living on a boat. The lines and beams of the ceiling are beautifully constructed. Through mechanical glass sliding doors you can enter the balcony. The half circular shape and its cantilevered roof give you the feeling of still sitting in the bedroom while you are actually at the outside. We end our tour with a view from the balcony. 
a sunset over the Pacific Ocean and a harbor full of sailing boats. This was your tour guidance. Thank you for watching and till next time.